Okay, hands on with the latest Xiaomi Hyper OS, which is based in Android 14 and available for the Xiaomi devices. Not yet for a lot of Xiaomi devices, but will be available soon. Some of the noticeable changes which were introduced with Hyper OS, we're gonna talk about all of those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. One thing is kind of really sure that it will be based on Android 14 for a lot of devices. For example, if you use some of the devices, some of the older devices, which will give you MIUI, which were in the list of giving you or providing you MIUI 15 based on Android 13, HyperOS could be there, could not be. But one of the main highlights of HyperOS is the lock screen customizations. Now these are finally added. Even Google introduced some lock screen clocks with the stock Android 14. iOS already gave you some lock screen customizations. So as this one too. HyperOS brings you some great kind of lock screen customizations. You get you also have these depth effect wallpapers available exactly looking like iOS. And uh, you can now say that it's a copy of iOS, but this is what it is. If you move on and check out some other things, you can customize the colors, you can customize the clock styles, you can customize a lot of things here. We have the option to customize the wallpapers. We also have some options for these kind of things. We have the option for nothing style wallpapers, matte effect and a lot more things. But if you need depth effect wallpaper, you don't have to use these kind of things which are available here. There are many more things which you can go and customize in the lock screen after installing HyperOS. And if it is available for your device right now, like it is available for Xiaomi 13 Pro and some of the higher flag flagship devices right now, as far as I know. So if you're using any of the flagship devices, which supports hyper os and if you have this build available and looking forward to install this thing this might be a very good choice for you you should check it out but if you're using any other xiaomi device you might get the update very very soon these are things available in the lock screen customization which is one of the main highlights of hyper os basically this is the main highlight other things are also there but this is really the main highlight one of the another change which is included in HyperOS is the new control center. Although it's not that much new, only two bigger tiles and that brightness slider and the volume slider there. We have the music playback option and smart home and all the small tiles. Kind of really same with the similar to basically MIUI 14 and MIUI 13. Things were basically same here. Some of the things here and there, some tiles here, some tiles there, etc. etc. But it's literally same. But this is what we have. You can install this kind of system UI thing or control center in MIUI 14 also. Not every device supports, but still. You also have new control center styles options available in the notification and status bar. As you can see, the preview is also changed. As you can see, it was changed in MIUI 14. It was now, it is now changed to this one in Hyper OS. One of the another change is available is a new charging animation. So whenever you plug your device to charging, you will see the status bar kind of the charging animation which is included. This is also one of the new things which were never available in MIUI at any uh, option, for example, in any version, MIUI 12, 13, 14, etc. But it's introduced in HyperOS. We also have other options in additional settings and sound. You can see some of the things or some of the options are sorted. Some of them are now removed from somewhere. Some of them are placed somewhere else like this. Other options are basically same. If you move on to the gallery options, you will see gallery also introduced new UI. You have bottom options, photos, albums recommended, but other than else, almost same, identically same as compared to other MIUI versions. Even in the file manager app, you will see recent storage, etc. And in storage section, this kind of UI is introduced. Some of the apps like gallery, file manager, you can even install them in MIUI 14 by just installing the updated APK. Some of them will definitely work without any issues. Some of them will not, but yes, you can check it out. We also have the new sidebar animations though. If you enable sidebar and see these apps opening from here, some of the animations are improved. And this was same kind of thing with Android 14 also. When Google introduced Android 14 stock Android, they gave you some new cool animations everywhere. So the animations are quite smooth, but other options are literally same. There are no major visual changes in Google's Android 14, but in MIUI, basically this, which is HyperOS now, so MIUI 14, and now then no MIUI 15, this is HyperOS and let's see what they are going to bring you very very soon in other updates or as it this is the first initial stage but i found hands-on with this hyper os i found the things the changes i've already shared with you these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for custom more videos which are coming very very soon goodbye